Hey people, I'm back with another reaction video and I'm reacting to the confrontation between Connor Ben and Chris Eubank Jr. These two were meant to have a fight in October 2022. I can't believe two years have already gone by already. So they were meant to fight two years ago, but it was revealed on the week of the fight that Connor Ben had failed two voluntary drugs tests. This is something that many people felt that Team Connor, Matchroom were trying to cover up and allow this fight to go ahead. So when the news broke that Connor Ben had failed two of these tests, then they had to pull the fight. So if memory serves me correct, Connor Ben, after the fight got cancelled, he gave up his British license. He appealed the decision. He even paid his own independent research team who came out with a, I think it was a 50 page or, or 100 page dossier proving that um, he's not a drugs cheat and that the banned substance came from what many people were saying was came from him eating a lot of eggs and he presented it to the WBC and they accepted it but then he was unwilling to show it to the British Board of Boxing Control. And a lot of back and forths. And for the last two years or so, it's kind of felt like he's been serving a ban. And I didn't really know too much about it, so I had to obviously pull out an, an article from Wikipedia. So in March 2023, the UK Anti-Doping Agency formally charged and provisionally suspended Conor Ben for an Article 2.2 violation for the alleged use of prohibited substance after two voluntary drug tests came back positive for chlorothene. In July 2023, a ruling made by the NADP, which is the National Anti-Doping Panel, saw his suspension lifted, clearing the way for him to fight again. However, UCAD and the British Board of Boxing Control appealed the NADP ruling. In May 2024, the NADP ruling was officially overturned, causing Ben to be provisionally suspended once again. So Connor Ben has been silently serving a two-year ban from what I can see here, because what they're trying to do is obviously hype up the fight again between Connor Ben and Eubank Jr. When this fight was first made two years ago, I have to admit now, I wasn't excited about it. I'm not excited about a, a guy in Conor Ben coming up two weight divisions to fight a middleweight in Chris Eubank Jr. I just wasn't a fan of it at all. And just this whole rivalry thing now, like the whole rivalry is between Chris Eubank Sr. and Nigel Ben. So they're trying to use their father's legacy and their father's rivalry to create another fight at the time it just felt like they were trying to force this whole rivalry thing and it didn't feel like the right time for this fight to happen i can understand if this fight was happening towards the end of their career but conor ben at the time was 26 years old he's a welterweight and he's building himself up now to obviously chase for world titles so why all of a sudden now that you ne he needs to fight Chris Eubank Jr., who is a middleweight, the highest he's ever fought is at super middleweight. Why does he need to fight him? And many people felt that probably Eddie Hearn was trying to cash out Conor Ben and was trying to make as much money as possible from him. So they wanted to use the... Um, the rivalry that their fathers had back in the 90s now to obviously create this big fight. So obviously what happened the other day between Chris Eubank Jr. and Conor Ben was scripted because before the confrontation, Eddie Hearn was doing an interview with Ivel TV with Conor Ben and they were talking about how big and massive the Eubank Jr. fight's going to be in front of 60,000 people. And as they mention Chris Eubank Jr.'s name, who walks into the room? Who walks into the corridor of the hotel? Chris Eubank Jr. and his team. Yeah, the timing was so perfect. So Conor Ben just decides to walk up to 
uh, Chris Eubank Jr. and and say to him, "Oh, you're lucky, mate. You're lucky. You're fine. Because I'll 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 um I'll, I'll f you up right now." Like, so he's basically kind of saying, like, "Yeah, if he wasn't fighting, then he would have like punched him in his face. He would have like did this that." And he was just doing so much. And what made me laugh now is just the way that Chris Eubank Jr. was just smiling. He was just kept his composure. And Conor Ben was just, I don't know, he was so intense, man. Yeah, Conor Ben's obviously very upset with Chris Eubank Jr. for the things that he said over the last two years, calling Conor Ben a drugs cheat. So whether or not this confrontation was scripted or not, you can really see the psychology of both of these fighters. Conor Ben looks like he cannot control his emotions. So if these two were to have a fight, Chris Eubank Jr. is going to wipe the floor with him because he will win the psychological war between the two of them because he's able to control his emotions. Nigel Benn's inability to control his emotion caused him to lose the first fight against Eubank Sr. Nigel did so much better in the second fight because he controlled his emotions he had a deep, deep hatred for Eubank Sr., but managed to control his emotions a lot better, learning from that first fight. Now, does Conor Ben have the ability to control his emotion? This pent-up emotion that he's stored up inside of his system for the last two years. I don't think he's able to do it. So in this confrontation, they go back and forth, back and forth, and Conor Ben pushes Eubank Jr., but the security quickly steps in. Everyone goes their separate ways. And then the camera guy goes back to Eddie Hearn and Eddie Hearn pretends as if he doesn't know what's going on. Then he starts singing, there's no business like show business, which just lets you know that this was all like a setup to try and obviously promote the fight. Anyway, let me know what your thoughts are. Like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.